Hi, welcome to Job Form. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a multilingual form and a form translation. So let's head on over to my desktop right now. Okay, this is Job Form's dashboard, and let's get started with a brand new form to translate it. So let's head on over to Create a Form. We're going to start from scratch, a classic form. And this is our builder. So let's drag in some basic elements like name and email. Now, to get set up with the multilingual form, let's head on over to Settings. Let's go into Show More Options. And we're going to set up the form, the original form language for in this case would be English. And let's edit some translations. So in this place, you can add as many translations as you'd like. There are over 130 plus languages available. So for example, in this case, we're going to add Spanish. Okay. So let's add Spanish for this one. Let's add a form language. And here we can translate the form. So for example, by default, it's auto translated, but you can change this if you like. So for example, it says form for language, which, which would be okay. Next could be, it says seguir. It could be siguiente, just to show you that we can actually modify this to a little bit more to our language or like that. For example, email could be correo. All right. Okay, so that's translated. And let's go check this preview form out just to show you how easy this actually is. So now it's available in several languages. In this case, we have the little banner right here, which is the flag. And we can select, for example, Spanish. And now it's translated just as easy as that. Now, if I preview this form, let's go ahead and go to the flags. We have all these languages available that I've added. Now, this is really useful when you want to reach a broader audience that speak in a different language or make it easier for them because maybe they, they speak English, but they speak better Spanish. So this helps them out to understand the form way better than they would just trying to figure out what it says in English. So this is really useful for a multilingual form. Well, I thank you all for watching. This is how you build a multilingual form on JotForm. See you later. Bye-bye.